What's going on? Um, today we're making what we call a Tarasco burrito. It's kind of Greek. It's kind of Puerto Rican. I ate it at a cafeteria and I'm trying to duplicate what they made. So right now what I have is a uh, flour tortilla, very Mexican-like. It is Mexican. And I put a tortilla inside the microwave for about 25 seconds. It's the one that I Mozzarella, low fat for you health conscious people. We got mushrooms. This is new because Cindy wanted mushrooms, so we're doing mushrooms. We got some onions, some thick slices of onion. We got some jalapeno without the seed and churrasco, which I grilled already, as you've probably seen. Not completely cooked, medium, kind of medium, medium well. And if you want it really done, go ahead and do it. But I like it like this so that when you put it in the oven, it's very tender. All right. So we got all the ingredients. We got some salt. And Cindy made some guacamole earlier to dip it in later. So I'm gonna open the bag of mozzarella and we're gonna. Oh shit. <laughs> Still going? Oh. Uh, we're gonna lay it down inside. On the inside first, just to lay the foundation. Now, there's a lot of mozzarella involved in this, but it's very tasty. So, see that? Okay, now we're gonna lay the mozzarella, on, uh, the churrasco meat on top, and just evenly. It's kind of like fajitas, but in a tortilla, so make it a burrito. It's very big, very tasty, and uh, yeah. So that's all the meat we have there. So it's quite big. I'll save that for Cindy. Alright, I want to add a little salt, just for flavor, not too much, just little sprinkles, more taste right there a little bit, there we go, not too much. Alright, so I'm going to lay out the onions and spread out the onions evenly because it's going to cook, so it's going to soften up and add the sweetness to the meal. So, actually this can probably feed two people by itself, that's pretty big. Onions there. Good. If you don't like onions, well, don't put them. Then we're gonna lay the jalapenos uh, diagonal side here. Some good coloring. Then we're gonna add the mushrooms last. On top there. And uh, you gotta do this quick because it'll kind of uh, protein won't be as warm. So add mozzarella again so it'll close. And it's a lot of mozzarella. It's very so the burrito will actually become a burrito slash enchilada. All right, so now you can close that up. And now what I do is I actually add more mozzarella on here so it will stay and have a melting effect on the bottom of it. Now preheated the oven already, so should be good to go there. All right, so now you pour it up. As you can see, we have the other one already done. I'm going to bring this over. It's a big fat one. Right there. Face down. Good. Stick it in the oven, I would say, about 25 minutes at about 3, 350. 20, 25 minutes. And we'll just check out the final product afterwards. Can you show us the guac? Oh, the guac. marinade churrasco so I can eat it later on this week. See it'll sit there. A uh, while ago we didn't marinate this churrasco enough so but so we compensate with the salt and whatnot. But Cindy made the guac with two big Puerto Rican avocados. As you can see it looks very delicious. She had cilantro tomatoes and onions and the fresh guac. Started up some salt and lime. Right? Anything else? That's it and we'll be eating with our nice Puerto Rican churrasco green. Burrito. See you in a little bit. Yep. Alright, so it's been about 25 minutes and about after 10 minutes I had to put the foil over it because it was cooking pretty fast. I wanted to keep the steam inside the burrito. So we took it out. We use a spatula to take it out and this is the product here. You see inside. Everything's melted. 
is good. Very moist, that's the key, and we put mozzarella cheese on top. So uh, Cindy's, using the Cindy's guac to dip, I'm gonna put some on the side here. And guacamole has actually good fats for you. So it's good to eat. Guac, you want some more? No? Okay. We're also gonna use some, um, maybe some hot sauce. Tabasco is really good with this. So you put Tabasco on top, you like it spicy. This gives a little tang taste to it. So, so that's it. That's our dish and we'll let you know what it tastes like. See ya.